Hey guys, welcome back. I'm out here just uh, at our campsite where we've been working. Um, been had a pretty long day, 10 hour day, same thing yesterday, and it'll be the same thing tomorrow and the same after that. Um, completely covered in ash right now. It's kind of gross, you can see my pores. I've got a cool butterfly tattoo. It's fake. But uh, yeah, we're out here. We're trying to shoot some cool deep space object tonight, maybe like the Veil or the Goon and Trifid or something like that. And uh, hopefully it comes out nice. So we'll have to see. It's really smoky right now. Um, it's kind of hard to see the mountains. Just zoom in a little bit. Kind of see them, but you can definitely see how smoky it is. Over here, look at the sun. You can kind of see it through that cloud. Got some of that cool golden hour kind of lighting going on, but uh, of course I'm just waiting for the sun to go down. Got my stuff set up over here. Oops, should not have had that on 12 times. You can already see it moved a little bit. But yeah, got my wide field set up out here, which right now is basically just a DSLR. I've got a 135 millimeter lens. You see how dirty my hand is and my arm. But uh, yeah, I've got this guy set up, kind of pointed roughly north. So we'll have to wait until it gets dark to actually pull our line. So come back then. All right gotten dark as you can tell everybody's gone to bed except for me and I'm wandering off into the woods looking for where I put the cap wearing the flops out in the grass is a great idea and here we are bam right where I left it and uh Looks like I was only off a little bit in terms of aligning it in the morning or when it was light out. But uh, looks like I'm off to the right a little bit. And now you know you can't see much, so I'll just keep it pointed at the camera. But uh, it does look really smoky out here. Um, but that said, I can see a ton of stars. So hopefully things turn out just fine. But uh, it's time to do some polar alignment. Man, I don't know what's going on, but somebody's got like a high powered flashlight or something and they're just like beaming it all over the place. Anyway, I am most of the way through my line. Well, I'm trying to get it on the veil right now. And this guy's just going nuts with that thing. Um, anyway, yeah, right now I'm trying to focus. And once I get focused, then I'll finish doing polar alignment again because uh, this thing's pretty finicky, so hopefully we can get something good. All right, so it looks like we've got it. Let me go ahead and zoom in. Bam, there it is. I zoom way in, but it's there. I've got it framed in such a way where I might try and actually move it over to the left here so I can whoop, so I can get whatever that thing is I have to figure out what what object that is but there it is you zoom way in damn hell yeah all right we're all set up I'm laying on the ground it's freaking bright man I'm not gonna do that again it's the last view of my beautiful face that you will see. But I've got the veil right in frame and uh, really well, really, really goodly polar aligned. We'll say that. Um, whoever was shining the light has stopped, so that's sweet. Um, I wish you guys could see the view that I have, or at least I had before I flashed my eyes with a bright light, but uh. Man, I saw two meteors while we were while I was setting up, and uh, you could see the 
like the ion trail following it super cool i uh i wish i was taking a time lapse actually so i could have caught that but looks like we're all set and ready and uh, i'm just going to go ahead and get started on these two minute exposures let's see how they turn out all right so i've got a uh, minute and 30 second exposures going um i decided to drop it down from two minutes just because uh you know this is a little sky watcher star adventurer i'm not really trying to push it to its limits right now especially this is the first time i've shot at 135 millimeters so uh yeah i'm gonna keep it nice and simple for tonight and then once i figure out a little bit of better of a better system uh right now things are a little wobbly oh, damn i just touched that there it goes exposure number two only 259 left hopefully that should be enough <laughs> it should be anyway i'm gonna wake up tomorrow and we'll see just how uh just how this fared and we're back It must have gotten a little chilly last night. Lens looks fine. Gotta love how, uh, just this whole appearance. <laughs> you can hear the sound of the wrecking crews right now out there removing all the burned trees from this campground. But, uh, looks like we got it. And, uh, yeah, I was a little disappointed. I was able to check some of the uh, frames and, you know, you forget how much uh, just a single axis mount kind of doesn't correct for certain uh, ways that the stars move. So over enough time, the veil kind of moved out of frame. Um, so I'll probably only be able to use about half of the frames I actually got uh, for the veil anyway, but that's okay. But uh, hopefully tonight we can try and shoot something else and we'll see just how that fares. We'll see you then. So it looks like the smoke's cleared considerably. See the mountains a lot better now. We got the moon and Jupiter over here, or Venus over here. Looking nice. So I'm going to set up and uh, we'll see what we can get tonight. All right, let's get this thing aligned and pointing where I want it. All right, so with polar aligned, I've got myself aiming at Saturn. I know you can't see that, but it's in the middle of the Cygnus region. Um, there's all sorts of nebulosity in there that I'd love to capture. Um, and I'm going to give it a shot tonight, but, uh, first we're going to go ahead and take our first minute and a half long exposure. I'll see how that goes. And after that, we'll see just how, uh, just how long I can expose for. We're imaging and, uh, there it goes. It looks really good. Um, yeah, I'm excited. So yeah, minute and 30 seconds. I've got 300 set up. Um, I don't think the batteries are gonna last again, but that's fine. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and we'll see how it turned out in the morning.